The Franklin series, one of my faves. And tonight we're going back to the beginning where it all started. Uncirculated, crazy price, the best product. Let's go. The Franklin series, replacing the Walking Liberty series, started in the year 1948. It ran until 1963. That was 16 years of striking. And then due to the unfortunate events of late 1963, the assassination of President Kennedy, and then the Kennedy half dollar coming out in 1964. Oh, by the way, that's been out for 60 years. Do you, can you believe that? 60 years. So we have these beautiful Franklins, 90% silvers. At this time in history, it was the largest coin on the planet. The silver dollar stopped the year after gold was pulled. We pulled gold in 1934, right? We pulled silver dollars in 1935, the last peace dollar. So we had the half dollar as the large silver coin in circulation. Now, this is the standard reverse for Denver. Below in the E and the S in states, you saw the D mint mark. It's not a hook for the bell. It's actually the mint mark itself. But I love the Franklin series. There's 35 of them in all when you add in Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. There were 16 Philadelphias, 14 Denvers, and 5 San Franciscos. How it all plays out, that was unique to each one of the respective series. Denver, you can't make this one up. In order, 48, 49, and 50 are the three lowest minted Franklin half dollars in the 14 Denver minted coins they struck. Can't make it up. Now, if you look at our price, it's a whole other story. 119.85, divide that by three, brings you in at what? 39.95 a coin under $40. My competition sells just these coins in uncirculated condition. Coins and capsules for significantly more. Again, their numbers, are you ready? 85, 80, 88. You add all those up, you're 240 plus the rounding, you're over 250. Our price for these gorgeous uncirculated coins, 119.85. Now, condition is significant and condition is important. And again, it's like with real estate where location, location, location is so important. Well, in any collectible, whether it's a sports card, a, a rookie card, a comic book number one, a special stamp, or any other collectible, quality matters, right? Now, coins that are out there and are circulated have value, don't get me wrong. But when you get to that special category, uncirculated, you have it. The Sheldon scale is the scale they use for collector coins today. It's a 70-point scale. 0 to 59 is circulated. The higher the number, the higher the quality. 60 is where uncirculated starts, and it goes to theoretical perfection at 70. These vintage coins, there are no 70s. Now, again, there's the D mint mark, as I referenced, below the E and the S in states. It's not the hook, so to speak, to hang the bell. But the I appeal is significant, tied to the actual grade of the coin. Big fan of the Franklin. I think it was because I was a paper boy in the 1960s. And when you go collecting, you got a lot, of, a lot of change at that time in history. And I was happy for it. When they pulled silver, I was like, this is great, right? Many of you might have had the same experience. But some of them are blast, like, wow, where'd this come from? Others are more subtle. But it's the detail on the coin that matters. I can tell you this, all of ours have that consistency of clean, which means there's no heavily toned or there are no porosity spots or things of that nature. And this set is a perfect example of how an uncirculated set could look that are quality high-end uncirculated coins. I appeal coins, I guess is how most people call it. But again, there are 14 Denver Franklin half dollars. These are the first three, the last one ending in 1964. 
there were no Denvers in 55 or 56. If you look at the lowest minted coins in the system, that's the published red book, black book, blue book type stuff, right? How many they made? 48 is the rarest, 49's right behind it, and 50's right behind that. So it makes the series a bit fun, as I referenced earlier, where it's boom, 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 the three rarest coins and the three set. Now, this holder is what do they call Defender. Good question. Good comment on that, Hunter. By the way, Hunter runs our phone area where all the representatives are. So when questions come in, if they can get my attention or it's something I can answer with a quick, they'll always flash me something here in the studio, and I'll do my best to address it as I can. Defender is the name of the holder. We introduced this three or four months ago, and a lot of people love the look and feel because capsules or flips are not bad. But when you, the market over the last couple of decades has been all about certified coins, right? ANAX, NGC, PCGS. And that's beautiful. Nothing wrong with that at all. However, all the packaging today for coins is kind of made for those types of certified pieces. So when they came up with this look and feel, we were all over it. Now you can buy these holders yourself. You can write on the label what you want to write on the label. Our graphic department puts together these series for us so we can just take it up a notch. But as you know, and as you've been with us before, you, the bottom line is this. That's just in our price. You not only get the best coin, the best quality, the best price, the best look and the feel, that's our middle name, Value, America's Value Channel. We take it seriously. We want as many people to get in as possible, especially some of these that are my true loves in collecting the Franklin series itself. Guys, let's put that one minute clock up, please. Down to single digits. Yes, all of our Franklins have this beautiful blue label. So if you bought proof Franklins with us in the past and or other uncirculated, all of the labels will match in our series. 119.85 divided by three means we're under $40 a coin. I mentioned earlier our competitors are 85, 80, and 88 respectively. They're more than double our price for the same coins without the beautiful holder. But it comes down to this. How many of you remember 1980? If you were in the coins in 1980, it's hard to forget. $50 an ounce silver for the first time in U.S. history, world history. And anything that people had, from flatware to you name the coin, calls the proofs are being melted everywhere. That's why you don't find Franklin's today. Because it was the last big silver series in the marketplace before all the fun happened. Well, tonight, we're having lots of fun. The first three years of Denver, the three rarest Denvers, and tonight we're under $40 a coin. It doesn't get much better than that.